Alright, so a little background on Indigo. He is a former uh, PR player from his region in um, Southeast, Southeast Florida, um, Florida um, Indigo. Um, he is a Corn main, um, formerly a Falco main. Um, and he's going to be going Corn right now, so we'll, let's see what Rider brings out. Alright, that'll be uh, a little interesting to see. Um, Corn versus Duck Hunt. This is definitely really bad. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely, um, this is actually a matchup that I'm very, very well versed in just because I do happen to go in my region. Um, so basically, one of the main things is you have to be so careful about your spacing. At any moment, um, if you're at 60%... Side, side B's in the mid Wait, what? There's not a lot that can be doing against side B. I mean, Although it's Wi Fi, so. I know, like, 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 stops it as well. Like 12 frames with, like, intellect. Yeah, that's actually not too bad for Wi Fi. <laughs> 12 frames? Yeah, More dude. More. Half a second? Yeah, that's that's what. He's from Japan, so you're gonna have latency no matter what. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, sorry uh, about that mix up. Um. Yeah. He dip it? No, 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 he's coming. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was complaining about the input lag, but. Say, come on, man. I don't want to see some dips. <laughs> Let's see. I hope that he's continued going duck hunt. We'll see. All right, so. Um, so Indigo actually does have a lot of um, experience in this matchup um, against me and Paris too. And Paris is like the heaviest ledge trapper that I know besides like uh, Raito. So we'll definitely look to see what he brings to this. Um, the biggest thing that Indigo is going to have to get over is getting used to this input lag that he is going to have to deal with. I don't, so, really, although, with input lag, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because... Um, Corn isn't necessarily as crazy as you can. Like, of course, I'm gonna have to look at more particular things. I, and I'm, I would rather just put on being, like, you know, accurate. Mm -hmm. um, I think, like, the most particular thing is that she's gonna have to be able to pull off with, like, only things considering, like, side But like, even with side beats, like, if you just put it fast enough, it's like, Yeah. So, um. Definitely. And like in the case of dealing with projectiles, Corrin just has to either neutral air or, well, side B. Neutral air or fair, those are your two things to do. Um, you do also have fair as well. Um, um, yeah, yeah, no, fair does more than 5%. So, you know, really, really good at dealing with a lot of things. Also, you know, it'll just instantly swap the can away as well. Um, so the main thing is like, the main thing that the input lag could um, interfere with is getting those reads on, oh, unfortunate SD from Raido right there. So Indigo actually is going to take that first stock right now. Um, looking at a pretty healthy we lead, 81% is going to be a little bit before Duck Hunt is able to get the kill on her. Um, but let's see what they end up getting. Corn, the corn is it's just one side beat and then everything is just rammed down. The only thing you can really do is just prepare for it. Because at least you can kind of punish side beats. This isn't like clouds and neutral air. It's like, okay, all of your stuff is speed. You can't get a good punch. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's like... like yeah, like I, was, like I just saw right, right now. Um, Rida was actually able to catch Indigo's side beat in the back air. Yeah, so like, you know, side B, if, as long as you're not predictable with it, it's really hard to punish, but if you get to predictable with it, it, you can actually get like, you know, run up up smash or just like a grab up yeah. in general. Yeah, like, you know, I've times where I just like, for me, I try to like, um, const like when I'm playing Corrin, I try and be your back every now and then. I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for that side. It's gonna happen. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, no, like it's the same thing I do against Diddy Kong when he's when they like so, to go from up to like, a lot. If I know like there's an optimal time to use it. I'm gonna start doing that. Like, okay, come do it, and then uh, we're gonna do it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna up smash you the moment you make a move. Yeah, so it's like if you just tell yourself to go for something, and then you're way less likely to miss it as well. So definitely a very good thing to keep in mind. 
Um, but right now, it seems like Rido's um, starting to get the sign of the down on Indigo. Indigo having a really hard time to get in on him at the moment. Uh, Indigo, like, um, yeah, Indigo just trying to uh, get in, but Rido actually oh, utilizing God. a bit more uh, walling. Um, but Indigo is oh. shooting. Oh, unfortunately, he is shielding. He's like too close. Grab. Yeah, so unfortunately, right there, um, Indigo did lose his jump at the end, so wasn't able to make it back. Um, this game is, uh, right now he did donate $15, so it will be three games at the moment. So he does have two more to go still. Um, so the main thing that he's got to go on, um, is it seemed like, um, Raido kind of got, like, more of a download of how Indigo wants to play the neutral and just try to choke out those options as much as he possibly could. So what Indigo's going to have to figure out to do is see when and where Raido's throwing his projectiles, and the biggest thing is find the best way to deal with um, Raido's can, but the biggest thing he's going to have to make sure he does is make sure he mixes it up every single time that can start out, because whatever you're doing to the can, Raido's going to pick up on that instantly, and then he's going to try to stop. Um, it's three matches. It's three matches, can Um... So, let's see what he does. So, running it back to Smashville, um, definitely don't disagree with this. Uh, I think it's a very, very even stage for both, um, characters. Um, yeah, definitely, um, some, as you're talking about punishing side B, um, so when you do side B on shield, if they kick towards you when they pin on you, then, um, you'll be able to punish it. But if they kick away, then you can't punish it. So, um, yeah, definitely um, something you need to keep in mind as for him. And it just depends on distance. Like, the most you can punish it with, like, a, in terms of, like, if you're close enough, you can get lucky and get, like, a bad. Yeah. No, I mean, so the thing is, like, that dash grab can lead to a lot. It's like, you know, where do you have your can place? What stage is it on to? Is that going to lead to an edge guard situation? It's just, you know, a grab can be a really, really powerful thing. Just as long as you get your positioning for it. All right, so we got the large setups going on for right now, but unfortunately not able to get anything. Almost suffering a um, tipper forward smash right there. Vindigo angled it up a little bit. That was about really bad news. All right, so this is one part where Indigo's actually very, very deadly. We got um, Rido sitting at 87%. Um, I don't know how experienced he is in this foreign matchup, but one thing that Indigo is really, really good at getting at every single time is when that Duck Hunt likes to sit in that roll distance from the ledge, he will do jump from the ledge and then do an insta pin, and you always will get tipper off of that no matter what. And that thing will literally kill you at 60%. Good lord. <laughs> the fresh use on. Not cold from the stock, but hey. Yeah, no, right now, the good thing is Raido right now is placing that cannon in oh, um, really, really good positions right now, so it's really hard for him to get something like that off. Alright, he's gonna take that cannon, but he's still gonna be living. That's the one thing that I always feel like you have to tell yourself as Corrin, is like, as long as you're not dead, he's just gonna die at any moment when I get that one hit, but as soon as I say that, uh, Raido is gonna tail out that stock with a well placed up there. Okay, try to go for the read with um, uh, that F smash. Um, you know, we were talking about um, shield poking earlier with F smashes. Yeah. Horn's definitely being one of the most proficient in doing that, as long as you angle it up or down. And he's going to take out that stock with that well placed back air as well. Stocks are now even. Okay. Alright, so that right, I was starting off a good combo again. Got the can of grabs. Okay, got the rapid jab going. Alright, so now Rhino's just doing an excellent job of falling out Indigo. Um, he's placing out his play pitches and everything at the perfect distance where it's hard for Indigo to get a, an exact punish unless he goes for a hard read on what Rhino wants to do defensively. But as long as Rhino's holding shield, I think he'll be able to beat out every single option. Uh, question, who did Rhino uh, lose to again in Genesis 4? Um, he lost to a, I believe it was Child, and then he lost to Yusan. So... That was like the unfortunate thing. Um, I think it was Child and then Yusan. Uh, I just know the first person was a Bayonetta player. Done, but yeah, Child the Bayonetta. Yeah. I just know it was a Bayonetta. It might have even be been Salem. It, it was like something like that. Ooh, okay, so. Nico, try and go for the hard boots with that. I've smashed again. But still not gonna be able to find it. But we do have this range building up on Corn right now. Um, if he gets like. Two hits on Duck Hunt, he will be a death percent. Just like that, 66%. If he got that read, that would have been it. Good mental error right there. Yeah, it's like the main thing that you gotta tell yourself at this percentage is just keep it safe. Okay, so interesting thing about that counter that you just saw from Corn. If yeah. he hits, 
she's completely safe. She's invincible the entire time until it like, finishes. So she can literally counter right again as soon as you hit her, or she could jab her shield, and there's nothing you can do about it. Jesus. And that up air is gonna take it. Rage stacking up really well in Indigo's favor. So this will actually be grunting in the background. <laughs> yeah, he did a victory pose and he just swung his arms like I'm well, the shit. I don't know what <laughs> um, so right now we are. This might be the first set that um might be taken off a of Raito. So we'll see um what happens from here. All right, so Indigo choosing Smashville again. Um, but we'll see if we go on Raito's choice of stage. Alright. Um, I feel like, in this case, um, Indigo could be a little bit more aggressive, maybe a little bit more usage. Oh, I don't think aggressiveness is the answer, in my opinion. I think it's, um, I think it's more of just staying within his space. And then just baiting out bad things from him. Try and uh, up his defensive game because he is healing enough, and when he is, he is too close. But otherwise, he's still doing good. Be a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking like there's moments where it's like he's not doing side B enough, and then there's moments like he's doing side B just. Perfect amount. I mean, the main, th main thing with um, going for the instant pins is you want to make sure you don't scale it too much, so you can just leave it as a good kill option. Because like, yeah. um, I've seen some corns. Um, there's one that I play with that likes to use it a lot, and when they do that, um, it just gets to a point where it's like it's not even gonna kill at like 170. Uh, when you get to that point, like that's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, missed the height on that side B. Otherwise, he would have been able to cover that roll with that kill. Indigo really did a good job of like pressuring Raito. Yeah, no, I mean he knows this matchup very, very well. Like this is probably one of his most comfortable matchups to play. Okay, could lead that into the use outside of, but barely misspaced it. And I want to point out that like it points um up there. Extremely hard to avoid. Yeah, not only that, it's extremely strong too. It's like, what if a fox up air was a sword? That's basically what it is. Much. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing that, um, the nice, like, one drawback that they gave to the Insta Pen is that, um, when she does do the Insta Pen, it, it basically extends her entire hurt box for the entire length of the land, so, um, definitely something that you can use to in order to help get you punished. Oh, and Indigo got the footstool, but unfortunately, he is gonna SD from it as well. Taking an equal trade, and we are down to the last stock of the set right now. Here One stock go. each, zero percent. The grand. Are we going to see the first set taken? Now, are we going to see the first person to take two games and the first set taken as well? So, double achievement right there. If he's able to pull this off. Not out of the question. No, no, definitely not. Alright, so right now, um. Raito's got his ledge set up already set up on Indigo. Um, I like the choices that he made there, but if Indigo made the um, was able to swap back the can, he actually was able to punish that guy really easily. But honestly, I don't know how Corrin's sword interacts with the can. Really. Ooh, greets him with the F smash. Not gonna kill just yet, but um, another one at the ledge might be able to do it. This gunman, that's can. He went fine for his life, but one bad, um, badly placed. Play pigeon. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. When you do the roll, instant the um, pin right there. Super hey, chip. Red. Oh, get some uh, the chipper. So. All right, now we're down. We're getting the percents are almost even, but if the percents are even. Corn's winning this match. Oh, gets the offstage buried, and that is gonna seal it out. Valiant effort by Indigo right there, giving it. Um, I know the closest set that he's had, but. Um, Raito just proving to be a little bit too solid. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Um, definitely. Good games, Raito. <laughs> thanks for coming um, by. Yo, yeah, no, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for getting help me out, too. Yeah, I got your 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was about to say, you haven't done it. You haven't exactly done it. You said you had it. I don't believe you. Um, I also want to say that, like, um, thanks. Another like Corrin is another one of those um, <laughs> uh, characters. Edgeguard in the middle of the 
the most you can do is like try to attack Corn before uh, they use up B. Yeah, no, definitely. That's one thing that you can do. It's like if you know where they're gonna be, then um, that's the main like, thing you can do. We just saw right there, like Rido went right in and just like a that fresh that back uh, back air closing in, like right as up B was starting. Oh, yeah. man, I don't know about you, but tomorrow I'm 